right guys so here's my project today i have a rodent problem not a rodent critter problem i'll say uh last year i did catch a skunk that was under my shed um they burrowed underneath this year i did see a squirrel but i'm not convinced it is a squirrel living under there i think it's something bigger so all these rocks i put there just as temporarily to keep animals from coming up and surprising me i also did use a couple smoke bombs there's another hole right there but it wasn't it wasn't cutting it i keep getting new holes all the time and the more and more research i did you can also see i have a, cu a couple other holes where the animal would come up under my shed so my shed is 16 by 16 about half of it is a slab so i'm not going to have to do the whole perimeter i'm just going to do the part on the edge which is actually a normal shed basically there was a lean to added on you can kind of see starting underneath the door that's all slab so what i plan to do today upon doing some research and consulting with people is i plan to use this this is hardware cloth it looks like chicken wire but it's slightly different so i have three foot by 25 foot in length uh, what I plan to do, I have tin snips or metal cutters, and I plan to cut this in half. So I have a foot and a half. So I have two 25 foot lengths that are a foot and a half wide. So I basically double my area here. And what I plan to do is to use my staple gun that I just got, as well as I'm going to use the larger half inch staples, which I loaded. And this thing's about $20 at your big box store. And I plan to take the tin. I'm gonna have to trench about a foot out and I wanna go and tack underneath there. Not underneath my nice, tr on my nice trim, but underneath the actual uh, sill, I guess you could call it, of the, of the shed. As much as I can all the way around, I'm gonna bend it and have it come out. So when the animals try to go down, they're deterred by the metal hardware cloth, AKA chicken wire. Uh, this side's gonna be a little more difficult because I have the driveway so close. So I'm gonna dig out as much material as I can down here and basically shove it down, tack it, and do what I can to really get that firm, firmly in place to deter my lovely critters and also gonna need gloves when you're messing with the metal it's pretty nasty stuff especially when you cut it you'll have sharp ends so keep that in mind and of course your trusty shovel to trench so check back i'll have updates along the way all right just a quick update here so i used a shovel but again since it was so close i did have to use this hand tool i don't know the actual proper name but little mining tool type thing getting down there I just want to make sure that because I'm gonna staple it here I want to be as low as I can but I don't want to disturb the little foundation blocks to the shed so I'm gonna keep at it and we'll come back with an in-progress wire wire staple in project all right so I'm gonna start with nine feet so Unroll your hardware cloth. Again, I'm gonna cut mine down the middle lengthwise. And I'm gonna start with nine feet and pick it up from there. Yeah, just to show you some snipping. Pretty easy. All the way down. All right, so I got my quote unquote hardware cloth, uh, chicken wire cut out nine feet long, foot and a half deep uh, or wide right now, but gonna be deep. Um, I am gonna have to cut little notches out of here so it's not as deep around the foundation footings. I don't wanna disturb those too, too much, but again, just have enough of a deterrent and it will be deeper in between. And then I'll backfill with soil and I also got some uh, some gravel for about three bucks at the big box store. So be right back. All right, decided I need a little bit more depth here. So gonna gonna have at least 
10 inches below ground here and then backfilled staple to this. I think that should be a pretty good deterrent. So we're gonna go at it. All right guys, so here's some progress. Um, the majority of it is 10 inches underground. Um, what I've done is using a half inch, the longest staple that my DeWalt can hold, half inch heavy duty. I had to hold it sideways because of how close it is to the driveway. Got a couple staples in. And then if they're sticking out, I can just tap it for good measure. Um, there's a staple right there in the middle that I was tapping. So I'm gonna keep going all the way. I'm gonna backfill and I think we should be pretty good. All right, just a quick update. So I have the wire stapled like I showed you all the way along. I just used a 50 pound bag of all-purpose gravel for now. Um, it's not for aesthetics, it's just to keep, to prevent critters from digging. They're gonna hit the rocks, then they're gonna hit that wire. So I'm just gonna keep going around the edge of the shed and go on this side as well. All right guys, here is the after result of what I've done. So again, put the screen down, dug a nice trench, fairly deep. I did it about 10 inches on some spots, 12 inches on the others. Backfilled with some dirt, packed it down, got it nice and tight. And I just put some cheap gravel, about four bucks a bag for 50 pounds. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It should do the trick. Keeping skunks, raccoons, whatever from out from under my shed. Um, again, previously what I did is I did use a couple of those smoke bombs to try to get them out. Um, I am gonna leave a hole open overnight and put some, like possibly this hole, give it a chance to get out. Um, I do have one on the other side as well, but I'm gonna continue do the same thing on this side because it's not next to the driveway. I'm not gonna do rocks. I'm just gonna do the trench. Should be a little, one less step, should be easy. Um, but yeah, so that roll that I showed you before, 25 feet, three feet wide was about 50 bucks. And the snippers, if you don't have them, that's gonna be about uh, 15 bucks. And staple gun, again, 20 bucks. Pack of staples, five bucks. Rocks, four bucks each. So much, much cheaper than hiring a pro. Hope this gives you some ideas, some tips. Um, if you have any comments, if you like it, if you don't like it, let me know in the comments. Anyways, guys, check out my other videos. Hope you have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Have a great day. All right, guys, just to give you alternative view of what I'm doing on the other side, other side of the shed. I showed you before, there are a couple holes here. I did dig out a few bushes temporarily but I'm trenching down. Um, so eh, about six to eight inches down and then I'm gonna bend the chicken wire, I'll call it the wire mesh type stuff at an angle, bury it. I'm gonna staple it up top and this side should be good. So I'm gonna go from that foundation block all the way over there to where I have the end of the slab to keep them out. So wish me luck, I'll catch you later. All right, just real quick before I actually staple it, here's what we got. I gave it a little bend in the middle. Again, I'm gonna staple, 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 and get this guy out as deep and out as far as I can. All right, so here's an update. We have, this is probably gonna be what most people have, a traditional, just dirt on the side. Um, on the other side, we already talked about the driveway side. So on this side, I have 18 inches, foot and a half total in total, about eight inches down, about seven inches out, about half and half, half down, half out. Um, so I'm pretty confident this is gonna be good. I got all the staples up into here um, and I hammered them in extra. I'm gonna backfill with dirt and we should be good to go. Skunk free is the way to be. Okay guys, here is the after. So I had what I think are skunk holes in here previously. So we put the wire up here. I did it in two sections um, because of my space, but 
about eight inches down, eight inches out, so a foot and a half total. Um, I'm pretty confident that's gonna keep the critters out. So I think it looks pretty good. You can't really notice it over time. The dirt will probably fill up and level off. I'm not too worried about that. Um, I might put some more plants over there. But again, just wanted to show you in total, not that hard once you get going. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, feel free to let me know. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Have a good day, guys. Okay, guys, here's just gonna be a quick wrap up. Here's my shed completely around. I have, I forget the exact length, say eight feet here. You can see the wire goes down under the ground and towards me. Um, so I got that stapled all the way around up until my slab. So I don't need to do this, this. I'll walk around on the other side. Here's more slab. So I don't need the wire. So here's a door. So basically it was extended, a normal shed. And then this was the extension. But under here, here's my third part of the day. Um, it's a little more difficult to see, but same exact thing all the way around. So I have full skunk proof. And we already showed you this on the front side. So again, mostly labor, it's not difficult. Um, the only th thing that I ran into was on one side where I had a fair amount of uh, roots from a large tree that just was a time suck. I just had to get down under there on this side and use some snippers, get the roots out of there, use the hoe, snippers, a couple shovels. But uh, yeah, this is it. Hopefully there's no animals under there. I did what I could to mitigate that, but all in all, say three, four hours of my day and in tools uh, or materials, say around $100, all the parts I listed earlier. If you have any questions, let me know. Take it easy.